This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody! It's uh, the Ramble. It goes on till midnight tonight, Eastern Daylight Time. Wherever you are in the world, adjust for that. And you'll know if we're live or not. Otherwise, it's a recording. Uh, hey, how are you? Good evening to all of you. Well, we're gonna have a good evening tonight. We have a lot to talk about, and we'll do that after we take time out, as we do uh, every little Tuesday or Wednesday with our old friend, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we present Larry. Bubbles Brown. Hi, Bubs. Yes, I'm still alive. Yes, Bubs. How are you? Good, good. I, uh, I saw a uh, little. Tr- I know you know so much about film, but I saw. I thought you might know the answer to this. And uh, all right, starting in the late seventies, there were four best supporting actresses in a row, and they all had the same initials M S. And if you could name all four, well, one of them would have to be Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep, yes. In fact, all four must have been Meryl Streep. Uh, no, <laughs> they're uh, all different. That's what. Okay, this is one. What period of time? From like seventy-eight to eighty-one, eighty-two. Yeah, there's Meryl four of them. Streep. Streep. Oh God, damn. Um, I can't think of anybody. Am I? You know, all, the only that. name I can come up with is Maureen Stapleton, and nobody knows that's who another. That's another one. What she won? Yeah, there's. So that's, you got two out of four. What, what did she win for? I don't remember, was this, but I just was this, I saw this list. And I thought, wow, the same initials four years in a row. I thought that was was kind this of odd best actor, people. best actress, uh, supporting actress, oh, best supporting actress. Okay, that makes it a little easier. Easier. Okay, so Maureen Stapleton, yeah, Meryl uh, Streep. Um, um, oh boy, I'm 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 dead on this one. I, at least give me the fact I got two out of the four. Yeah, you did better. Than I would. Maggie Smith. Ah, and, yes, of course. And, and there's one more that I can't think of. Oh, oh I always, see. Always good to give trivia questions when you don't know the answer. Oh, good for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, we got three out of four. Was, but, uh, was that four? How often would that happen? Well, apparently, it's not a coincidence because it did happen. Yeah. <laughs> you know, somebody somebody once said to me, uh, you know, they go, what are the chances of that happening? And I say 100% because it happened. Because <laughs> it happened. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, that's the chances of it happening. You know, I mean, uh, just because, you you know, the odds seem against you, apparently the odds were with you. Someone said winning the lottery. It's a it's a one in two shot. Either you win or you won't. So. Let, let me see here. If I if I type in best supporting actress, supporting actress, I've got to find the last one, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. So uh, uh, this this started like late seventies. That's all I remember. Uh, late seventies. Best supporting actress. At Wikipedia. Best supporting actress. Okay. Here we go. Oh, we got 1936. You know who the first one was to uh, to win uh, 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 in, in 1936 for best for best actress. Oh, that was best actress. We want supporting, don't we? Where is it? Film character name. Uh, let's see here. Um, Bonnie, Hattie, oh, although these are supporting, yeah, because Hattie McDaniel. So it was Gail Sondegard was the first one ever to win. I guess they first started giving it away in 1936. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now we got to go to what years? Uh, try 77, 78. 77, 78. Okay. Do you know Linda Blair? Oh, Linda Blair was nominated, but Tatum O'Neill won for Paper Moon in uh, 73. The, young, the youngest ever win, right? The youngest ever win was Tato O'Neill, yeah. And yeah. I suppose maybe it would have been Linda Blair if she had won it, you know. Uh, okay, so now we, 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 we're, what we're going is uh, 77. Okay, um, Maggie Smith, Meryl okay. Streep. Here we go, the one you forgot. Maureen Stapleton, of course. And in 1980, for Melvin and Howard... Oh, Steenberg, 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 Mary, Mary Steenburgen. Okay, well, yeah. 
Yeah. So, I, don't, I actually saw Melvin and Howard. I remember Melvin and Howard. I, and Jason oh. Robards played Howard Hughes. Yeah. But what did she play? She played, uh, was she the wife of Melvin Dumar? Uh, let me see here. Where? What year was that again? Uh, that, that Mary Steenbridge. Eight, and she 80. played Linda West Dumar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who, so. forged the, who forged a will. Yeah. So I guess you're right. It was, it, And it was in a row. Maggie, in a row, yeah. Maggie so Smith, like Meryl kind of... Streep, Mary Steenburgen, and Maureen Stapleton. That's incredible. But, that's a. Pe- I thought that was interesting, right? That's a great piece of trivia. Yeah. That's why I call you. You come up with, <laughs> with stuff like and that. And I don't know anything about You know about the movie, so. Yeah, yeah. And one of one of my favorite uh, uh, hottest act. I was thinking about teenage crushes. Like uh, Dina Merrill died, and I thought, I thought she was kind of hot when I was younger. Dina Merrill. Yeah. That was your kind of woman. Well, no. I when I when I when I was a teenager, I thought the the hottest woman was uh, was Raquel Welch. Well, mine when I was a teenager, and that was a few years earlier than you. You're a tad older than me, not much. So. Well, a tad is uh, you're sixty one, right? No, 64. 64, okay. Yeah. So you're, I'm about 13 years older than you are. But when I was a kid, the one that got me, I mean, it, I just got, you know, had a crush on movie-wise was, um, um, uh, <laughs> what's her name? <laughs> From, uh, uh, Rebel Without a Cause. Uh, Natalie Wood? Natalie Wood, yeah. Why did I, oh, just, yeah, why did I just choke up on that? Yeah, God, I'm forgetting shit like that. Uh, but Natalie Wood uh, in Rebel Without a Cause just churned me up. I mean, mm. you know, she because she really had a great quality about her. Just you know, uh, I just remember Raquel Welch in that uh, oh, the movie with uh, Peter Cook and Dudley Moore. Also. Um, Peter Cook and Dudley Moore, and that was the uh, well. It was it was uh, not bewitched. It came out in '68. Uh, and not bewitched. It had one title, uh, but it was like she was the devil, right? Bedazzled. 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 Yeah. Uh, and uh, that's a very funny movie, by the way. It was. Fun. I love the movie, and I love. Oh, she was just incredible. And she played the devil, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then later on, they remade it. With uh, you, Grant's girlfriend at the time. What <laughs> and was her name? Yeah, and I heard it was horrible. <laughs> uh, it was just, you know, it could have been a hell of a lot better. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Um, yeah, remakes usually don't do well. You're talking about Twin Peaks. Uh, okay, one. Twin Peaks. I've been watching, I don't know why I watched, uh, so far I've watched two episodes. And I don't know why I'm watching it. Because it makes no sense at all. Uh, it uh, is really just weirdness for the sake of weirdness, right? Um, uh, I don't think these people had any idea of why Twin Peaks was a hit in the first place. I think that's their problem. They thought it was a hit because they were so weird, and it was really a hit because it just had an had an interesting flair to it, you know? And I don't think mm-hmm. they, they're able to capture that again. I mean, and it makes no sense. And and I said to girlfriend last night, I said, I bet on these episodes you're never going to hear previously on Twin Peaks because all they'd be able to say is, previously on Twin Peaks, we don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> It, I think, will be looked upon as a major disaster. But I haven't decided because it's like, do you ever notice it, it, it? Let's say you get a piece of food and it doesn't taste quite right, but you eat it all and you're eating it because of its odd and unusual taste. <laughs> well, it's the same thing with shows like this. You know, why am I watching it? beats me but i'm I'll, I'll put on another one the next time it's on you know well remakes the bringing a show back after years i remember the uh they tried to bring back colombo in the 90s and those were god awful well, 
Well, everybody says, oh, well, let's bring this back, or gee, I wish they'd bring that back, or whatever, and I think that's bullshit. You know, once a show's run its course, let it have, have run its course. The problem yeah, you with most ruin it by bringing it back. The, the, the trouble with most shows to begin with is they last too long. They should have killed them. I mean, the smartest thing Seinfeld ever did was, I think, in the ninth season, said, that's it. And, exactly, and they asked exactly. him why, and he said, it's, the show said everything it had to say, you know? It it, it, it 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 what do we do? Keep doing it till it, till people remember it as a bad show, you know. So the, uh, the fact that they 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 uh, give up on these shows uh, uh, it, 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 too late, it gets to a point where you go, oh boy, do you remember how bad that got? <laughs> I mean, people forget, you know, when they're going, oh, Twin Peaks is coming back, Twin Peaks is coming back, and they don't remember that they went, boy, that. Season two sucked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that show should have been killed after the first year. That's. Uh, I'm trying to think there. What what shows did run too long? Um, oh, I Seinfeld think Seinfeld was I, really I, smart. To, they remember how much money they were offering Seinfeld to stay on. He was really smart though to end it. He just said, "That's it. You know, it's time to go," and he 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 left on a high note. You know. You never were able to say, boy, he finally left when that show sucked. Mm-hmm. So you got to really, you know, you got to hand it to him, you know. Smart kind of guy like that a, way. It's like athletes that sometimes a pro player will stay around too long and they were great in the last two years. They just suck. Well, I mean, I'll tell you what, uh, what sucks now. I never even watch it anymore. It's Modern Family. That thing, oh, that's, that's thing is that thing is so yeah. that's been on so many years now. Those kids are all like you know getting old and long in the tooth. You know, it's not a cute family any longer. No. It's a bunch not of just bizarre all. looking people. <laughs> no, I watched it the other day for the first time in like I don't know two three years something like that. I stopped watching about four years back, and I went. All these people are, all these kids have grown up and they're still trying to play kids. You know, I mean, it's just a bizarre show at this point. So, I mean, that's a show that lasted too long. But most well, shows like. had a long run. Yep. I mean, well, he's, he's had a, a long run doing a lot of stuff. You know, he's had a very successful career. Married with children. Yeah. And, uh. You remember he was he was before married with children, uh, he was Popeye Doyle in the French Connection TV show, but it was called Popeye. Really? It was called Popeye I didn't see Doyle. That. Okay, yeah. Oh, it, it lasted. I don't even think it lasted a season. You know, um, but shows that lasted too long. Oh, um, try um, uh, The Apprentice. <laughs> you know. That show died years earlier, mm-hmm. and Trump kept it alive. He kept fighting to keep it alive, and it even one season it wasn't even on, and then the next season, I remember uh, uh, they did uh, the last season they did with Trump. Actually, they had in the can for a year before running it. Uh, that's how bad that show was doing. And yet they kept it on because it was cheap to produce. And, uh, you know, it, you could always have one in the canon. If some show failed, you had something to fill the slot with. Mm-hmm. But, you know, Trump going around going, I had great ratings. I had wonderful ratings. After the first season, he didn't have shit. He had shit for ratings. You know. Another Trump lie. Yeah. <laughs> I think Mork and Mindy ran a little long. Uh, it, though, I think only went, what, three, three, four years? Three or four years. And it, yeah. that, um, the first three years, it was so huge. Well, the first year, it was huge. The second year, it was big. By the third year, they had to bring in Jonathan Winters right. to try and save it. Uh, and... Uh, it worked, but it didn't work. You know, the rating still kept going down. So it was not, you know, that was not a big, uh, it was not a, uh, a a healthy show, as it were. So do you ever, do you ever, do you, do you, 
do you look at politics at all? Do you pay any attention to politics? I know you're not a political comic. No, I, mean, I try to stay away from just this. Uh, it seems like that's all I hear in the news now. It's 24-7. It's, everything's about Trump. I just get tired of hearing about it. Well, I, uh, I uh, as a matter of fact, I uh, made a deal with myself that I wasn't going to watch uh, the news. Uh, right, anyway. yeah, I remember that. And now I'm watching it a little bit. I'm not watching it a lot, you know. Uh, but you said, don't you? I you feel better though when you don't listen to it. Well, yeah. And so what I've done is I have this whole new way of watching the news. I will watch the first, like for instance, if you watch the uh, Fox or uh, uh, you know MSNBC or CNN or whatever, I watch the first five minutes. I worked. Uh, in fact, I watch it until I hear the host say, "And now we have three people to talk about this," and then I turn it off. All I want is the news. Give me the facts. That's all I want. I don't want to hear some idiots for an hour pontificating on what's right or wrong with the situation. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I know what's right and wrong with the situation. I just saw it, right? And I don't need somebody to sit around and 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 punditize. There's such a Expert word. Expert analysis. Expert analysis, right? And then, it, of course, over at uh, over at uh, uh, CNN, uh, everything is breaking news. That that's the other one. I turn it, whenever they, <laughs> yeah. whenever whenever breaking news comes on, I turn it off. I don't care if it's the end of the fucking world. In most cases, it's uh, I just got a hemorrhoid. You know, I mean, it's it's stupid. Everything. It, it's like. Um, you know, the, I hate the the fact that people will call people geniuses when, you know, there's really only a couple of geniuses I know of in history. One was Einstein, okay? Another one might have been Oppenheimer or Teller, you know? Not the magician. Uh, so uh, those are geniuses. So when you call somebody like, boy, Robin Williams is really a genius, you go, that's eh, going to be big news to Einstein. <laughs> You know, I mean, we we tend to overuse terms and yeah. and so by overusing them, we completely dilute them. Totally. dilute. You know, like, and so uh, someone over said genius, its, in show business, genius means uh, C plus. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, uh, when you say the word breaking news so often, it just devalues it. Mm-hmm. You, you know, so uh, so what if it's breaking news to you? Everything is breaking news. Uh, so I, uh, uh, you know, that's a that's a, a big problem we have. Uh, yeah, breaking news. I want to see a mushroom cloud. Yeah, I want to see a carnage. <laughs> right, I want to see arms flying and uh, you know, uh, and I yeah. love when they do that on television. Though they go. Uh, we warn you, some of the video in this report may be too graphic for some viewers. Well, the first thing you know is they will never show really graphic stuff because they can't. <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. And what you're going to see is like an explosion or something. And that's it. But there's never, they always warn you that the graphic nature of the following uh, uh, story uh, may not be good for some people. Bullshit. I've never seen any time they've ever said that this has something in it that's going to... And then, then when they finally do show the carnage, it's like some, it's blurred out or it's pixelated or whatever. So we get lied to a lot by yeah, these yeah. people. <laughs> but, uh, do you have any particular news that you, you don't watch it either? You're trying to stay away from it? I try to stay away from it, yeah. It's just It's irritating. Yeah, and what? there's nothing we can, we're going to do to be able to change the world. So I just, I did hear happy news the other day. Uh, an elephant killer got killed by an elephant, so that made me. Th that's good. very good. Yeah. Too bad it wasn't one of the Trump sons. <laughs> yeah. Then they kill. Uh, I think they, they kill oh, they go around. They go around killing animals all the time. God, I hate people to do that. Yeah, I, I you know, I, I yeah, hunters will defend their. Right to hunt. See, I don't mind if people hunt, and 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 they of course have a license, and they're only a certain amount of that animal that are going to get killed, and then they take it home and eat it. Okay, but if you're just simply going to mount the head on a wall and throw the carcass away, somebody, you know, 
if you're going to do it because it's part of the natural predator-prey relationship and that you're doing it to stock your freezer with food, then okay, I guess I can't blame you, all right? Uh, I still couldn't do it myself. And my idea of being a sportsman is not sitting in a tree after you've salted the base of it, you know, waiting for a deer to come up so you can blow his head off while he's yeah. licking salt. And the the elephants are going to extinct. It's very depressing. So. Um, it, do you know what they're doing with the elephants in in, uh, in Africa? They're cutting off their tusks. The, I mean, yeah, no, that's uh, most of it goes to China. Well, no, no, this is not. No, the people who are stealing the tusks, okay, who are trying to sell them various places, actually kill the elephant, and then yeah, ta- just for the tusks. then take the tusks. No, what they're doing to save the elephants, the people in the surrounding areas and so on, the conservationists, is they're cutting the tusks off, a majority of the tusks, so that the people won't kill them to get the tusks. Oh, I hadn't heard that. Yeah. Uh, That's the only way they can stop them. I mean, uh, because they go in, they kill an elephant, they rip out the tusks fast enough and they get away they get away nobody knows who did it or why they did it well they know why they did it because they don't have any tusks left but to me that is just the cruelest thing in the world when i saw one of the trump sons holding up the carcass of like a lion or a tiger or something i just went what what kind of a father is that that will let his sons do that you know i understand hunters Kids who hunted with their fathers because their fathers went out and hunted, and then they took the food home and they ate it, okay? That's a good object lesson for the kids, and I don't consider them particularly cruel. But when you just go out there to kill them so you can get their hide or so you can mount their head up on a wall somewhere, fuck you. You know. Yeah, like that. Remember that piece of shit, Dennis, that killed that lion, uh, Cecil? Yeah, yeah, the, the lion had lived to be 80,000 years old, and he, he was a happy. Everybody loves Cecil. Yeah. And one day they come along, and some guy killed him. You know? Yeah, and, and he's still alive. So there goes the karma theory. Well, no, but the, you know what happened? He went back home, and he got so much bad news, he had to close his practice. Because oh, did it close? Good. He, nobody nobody, nobody, nobody would go to him. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Hope he dies a painful death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think you know. I think you and I are of a of a of a, a brand of human being that finds anything that you do terrible to an animal is is horrible. You know. Yeah, just, I, I have much more empathy for animals and people. If I really do. Well, people suck. Yeah. Yeah, I think you and I. That's that's you and I. We both we both can sit back and go. People suck. And they do. I mean, look at who they elected for president, for crying out loud. <laughs> I mean, just when we we thought that the voting public had finally gotten some kind of decent conscience and whatever, and they elected a black guy as president, and he happened to be a pretty nice guy with a pretty good family who didn't want to do bad things to the country, you know, uh, then they go ahead and they vote this piece of shit in office. And I just, you know, the man is tr- is trying to single-handedly destroy America. Well, maybe it already was. <laughs> Which means we have something very much in common with our neighbors, the Russians, because they really don't like us to survive either. But, you know, I mean, he just it's just I'm, I, I wake up every day going, you know, thank God I'm not, you know, I... I I'm not going to have to live with the results of this. And the results of this are going to be 20 years hence, you know. Uh, I, 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 but still, it, it bothers me. And it bothers me because today, it, uh, uh, and we're recording this, of course, at another time, but they're revealing that he wants to do away with Medicaid in all the states and let the states do the Medicaid for themselves, which they will do on the cheap, and uh, nobody will get served. And everything he's doing is to try and hurt poor people, old people, people of no means. And those are the very people that need protecting in this nation. You know. I think I fall into every category. <laughs> Good. 
<laughs> hey uh, there, uh, 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 Mr. Uh, Brown. Gee, I've never called you Mr. Brown before. <laughs> Such respect here. Uh, Mr. Brown, you have a lovely daughter. Anyway, hey, thank you, thank Mr. you so much, Larry, for joining Thanks me. For and uh, we'll do it again next week. You got it. Talk to you soon. Okay. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much, Bubbles. Glad you could uh, have joined us and uh, had uh, joined in on the fun, as it were, on the on the wacky. Uh, anyway, it is now time for us to. Uh, Go to our uh, our phones. Let me see here. Let me get rid of uh, uh, that. Well, wait a minute. I got. Let me stop the music for a sec. <laughs> stop that stupid music. Stop it. There we go. Let's stop the music, so I can turn on the uh, the uh, the uh, Skype lines. Every time, you know, I I don't look directly into the my, uh, camera, because I, half the time I'm working on stuff here. But anyway, our um, our um, mics, uh, our mics, our lines are open at Skype, uh, and it's a very simple thing for you to do um, if you want to do it. Uh, just um, um, give us a call, and th- that number to call is a very simple one. You use Skype, and it's GabNet Live is our ID. You just go to GabNet Live. However, if you don't want to phone us, and you you know you you. Sitting there with your uh, uh, grandmother's uh, old phone, and that's all you can use. Well, then there's a better way of you calling us. Go over to GabNet, G A B N E T dot net, and over there's a whole bunch of things on how you can get on the air with us. And at the very bottom is a phone number, and you can use the phone number. It's not as much fun as using Skype, but you can use the phone number, and uh, the phone number is. Three four seven three five two zero zero seven nine. Is that okay? Is that all right? I tried to do it in some kind of sing songy way. And this is the point of the program uh, where let me see how many people are listening right now. There has it gone up? Has it gone up? Uh, yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. Okay, and then we have a lot of people watching us on. Uh, on uh, Facebook Live, you know, you can listen to us in any one of the different ways. One is Facebook Live, and the other one is um, uh, you can go to my Facebook page, and every night we put it up there. And then later on, uh, you can find it on any, you can find it on Facebook, uh, on our uh, facebook.com forward slash GabNet Live page. Uh, or you can uh, you can go uh, uh, there are any number of places you can get it to. You can actually go over go, go over to live stream. I put it up on live stream, but I don't we don't do the thing live on live stream. So anyway, this is where I sit and I wait patiently because nobody wants to be the first one to call. I'm serious. But uh, oh, wait a minute, Mister. Uh, what what is this name you just put on here, uh, Phil? Yeah. What, what, what's the name you put on there? Uh, that's uh, that's what Trump said. I think he's getting some slap back, but that, that's what Trump said uh, in a tweet uh, yesterday, and nobody could figure out what it meant. Mr. What was the name? Um, a, he, Kofifi or something to that extent. The news broadcasters, have, is my video on? Yeah, yeah your video oh. is fine. Oh, okay. The, the news broadcasters have been talking about this for two days. Uh, he... Um, uh, it, it tweeted out it was supposed to be called conference and so they were all trying to figure out how do you pronounce this word what does it mean and uh, so uh, they, they've been having a little bit of fun what, with he it. couldn't spell conference? No, I think it just uh, uh, that's that's the way it came out in in the uh, post Kofifi? But, yeah, it was, it was a mistake you know, mm-hmm. have you ever uh, tweeted something? And yeah, but I correct it, it. Uh, they say on on, uh, on uh, Twitter you can't correct it. Really? Yeah, that, at least that's what uh, they said on the news tonight. Well, that's good. Another good reason not to use Twitter. Yeah, exactly. Um, and, and that's why I, I use Facebook because I can actually say stuff on Facebook if I want to. 
Right. I don't and have it. I don't really want to, so I don't. And you can edit something if you've misspelled it or it uh, automatically. Yeah, I mean, I go back all the time. Know. I just changed. Uh, I, I spelled replayable wrong on, on the playback thing, so I I changed the word to replayable. Okay, yeah. here come some people. Let's see. Here's John Let's Rockwell. And there we go. I'm the, not the, sure. Well, hold on a second. Hold on. No, you're on. You're on. We're waiting for uh, Renee to come up and for John to come up. There's John. Hey, and, hey, and there here, I, am. I bet you. I bet you. I bet you. Uh, there she is. Happy There's Renee. Happy to you too. Yeah. So you see, sometimes the first person doesn't get fucked over. I oh, actually just, think I know why that happened. Yeah. I don't know if this is. I have a theory. You have a about theory. Why that you have, word you, you came have, up? You, Oh, oh, Kafifi. Oh, I thought yeah. you had a theory on why well, Skype sucks. If you sucks. look at the tweet, he's talking about about fake news. Co. And I think he's probably was trying to read to type the name coverage, and he got the co. And then the f instead of a v, which is just above the f on the typewriter. And instead of backing, deleting to go back and fix it, he hit like return, and all of a sudden it was sent out. It's like, yeah. oh hell! <laughs> at that point, <laughs> or he maybe just didn't want to deal with it. At the, that point. the guy's an idiot. That's uh, what I'm no, I mean, I, I, I yeah, send out really terribly badly spelled, yeah, even though that, I've got uh, but, some autocorrect on this particular Mac, which you know, I, has I, changed I, a few things not the way I wanted. I to. can't believe he doesn't have somebody actually putting the stuff in. No, for I think him. he may be doing this at three in the morning. Yeah, you well, know, I mean, people do that. He's a hands-on president. He's a hands-on president. Or, yeah, thing, yeah, especially he like, really especially when he gropes pussy. Yeah. Uh, he's a hands-on president. Hands Hello, Renee. Here. How are you, Renee? Good. How's it going? Oh, it's going okay till Phil called. You know, it's fine. <laughs> but Phil was first. Hey, she, he, he was, was first and he didn't get knocked people. off. You know, I actually walked away from the coffee maker early because you were begging for people. And, uh, you know, and, and I said to Faye, look, you're going to have to bring me in the coffee. I make my coffee before the show goes on. Well, there I was go. listening to uh, you and Bubbles, and uh, then realized I didn't have my coffee. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Did you get that one about uh, the the th four actresses in a row? Yes. Ms. It, it, that had uh, the t initials Ms. One right after the other each year. The best supporting actor. Hmm. Well, let me. Let that me was add, Meryl Streep. He discovered yeah. this, or he discovered uh, uh, it. Yeah. Wow, he has a lot of time on his hands. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's not working much either, you know. Uh, no, but it was a more. It was uh, it was Meryl Streep, Street. which I got yeah. right, and then I said Maureen Stapleton because that was the only well, the MS I, I knew, and it <laughs> was Maureen MS, Stapleton. Yeah. And then it was uh, who? Who's the one that's uh, uh, Ted uh, Ted Danson's wife? Uh, uh, st uh, a free virgin or uh, a Steam Mary virgin, Mary Steven virgin. Won it, and uh, the other one was uh, oh, was uh, Maggie Smith. Mm -hmm. Okay, which yeah. I never heard of. Yeah, that, oh, that, I know that. That's is, pretty yeah. fascinating, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. well, it's I, a coincidence. I, I yeah. think it's fascinating. Yeah, it's a weird coincidence. They can all be on the next MS March together. And... Yeah, they can <laughs> <laughs> save us Ooh, from MS. Sorry. Right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That was not nice. <laughs> here comes uh, Jeff Stein. Hello, Jeffrey. Hey, here he is. How are you doing today? Hey, Jeff. Good. Click on it. Uh, uh, what do you think? Can you hear it now? Yeah, I can hear you fine. I can hear. Uh, I just can't see you. Now I need to see you. Yeah. Well. Uh, can you see me now? Right? Yeah, there you so go. Wait a second. If you spent the weekend in the hospital, you didn't go sailing, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see. Did I go sailing? Yes. Great. Wait a minute. You went sailing over the weekend? Not over the weekend. When did I go? Well, it was I'm going to think. I'm going to go tomorrow. I know oh, okay. That for sure. So, how are you feeling? You got the little shock thing to get your arrhythmia going, and yeah, every day it's getting better and better. And uh, you know, today I took a big long walk yeah. over by the water. Yeah, and that was nice. And and then on the way back, I was going like, whoa! After that yeah. shocking experience. Uh, if you touch the water, uh, can you get electrocuted? No. <laughs> Nobody can walk on top of well, it. Well, I, I did something the other day. I had, I had this tooth that was giving me a bad time, my yeah. loose tooth. And I th thought it was infected, so I started taking some antibiotics that I had around the house. It's gone away. Mm. So I didn't need to go to a doctor on that one. That's really good. I yeah. I did. Why? Did you have the full dose? Uh, what? No, I'm, I'm still taking it. I'm going to take it for the full 
Mm. Wow, that's but, pretty good. But it did that's it did clear it up. Yeah, so you know, uh, uh, you were correct. I was correct. Yeah, I took some Cipro and it was fine. <laughs> so, um, did you hear they made a new antibiotic? This happened last week. Um, uh, well, they announced it last week. They took three different well-known antibiotics that we currently have. Yeah. Let's do three or four. They mashed them up. Then they kept the stuff they wanted to keep, and they made a new antibiotic for the first time in, what, 30 or 50 years? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they're hoping that with the introduction of this, that we could stave off some of the ugly stuff that they were talking about was coming. Well, also, probably it'll solve the problem of, of certain diseases which they can't solve with the current um, uh, antibiotics because they become antibiotic immune. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's good. It's great. We should keep inventing more and more antibiotics. I'll, I'll take them all. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, our science is... <clears throat> but it was amazing. It's just, uh, uh, for some reason, tooth today, finally, nothing, no problems at all. Just, you know. And then I went to the doctor, mm -hmm. and uh, he gave, she gave me a shot in my knee. Oh, you got your injection. Oh, I right. got my yeah. injection. And you for know some. something? It isn't supposed to necessarily take care of the meniscus thing, but man, my leg feels better. I couldn't, I couldn't do do a thing where I, where I actually could move it back this far without uh, it hurting. It's over to it. Was, it. There yeah, was a time when you, yeah, a cortisone shots. Thank you. I had one. I had one. It's coming, coming back a little bit, but I had in my hand a little arthritis or something, mm -hmm. and I had it a few years ago, which was a bitching, horrible shot. I mean, it was painful. And yeah, she said the reason it was painful there is because there's so many nerves in that part of your of your body. Oh, yeah. Whereas in your knee, she says it's going to sting a little bit, but it's not going to be like that shot because there are less nerves there. So anyway, um, but I had it, and I'm you telling you, that cortisone lasted five years. You know, so. Yeah. Are we? Do we know yet what the limit is? Because when Marty was getting his shots. It was always um, you. You're only going to get X amount in your entire lifetime, so don't be thinking that you can use this all the time. Oh no, I've or, I, I've only had it once before, so you know we're not. Well, yeah, that. but we know people now. I think some of these people that are on the show have had it like four or five or six or eight times. Yeah, you but, can go in cortisone shop. You go from one doctor to the next and say, "Yeah, you cortisone shop." <laughs> I like that. I like that. I've yeah. never heard that. You go from one doctor to another until you get the you get cortisone everywhere. Yeah. Well, yeah. aren't you going to have the surgery though? For me? Your knees? No, no, it's not that bad. It's not that. Bad. That's, they say it's not that bad. That they, they would do it if it were re, it really torn. But what it is is it's a torn meniscus, but it's it's uh, scarring over, <laughs> and it will always be kind of sensitive a little bit. But it it's. It's getting better. My my physical therapist said he could feel it. It's all getting better. It's not as ne it, torn meniscus is going to be torn forever. But what happens is scar tissue builds up over it and uh, yeah. muscle and so on. And he says underneath I have no problems now. And on the on the top it he says it's about eighty percent uh, in good shape. So you know, mm. um, cool. So I tore a meniscus. So it sounds like I did it. I, when people ask me how did you tear your meniscus, hey, running. <laughs> you know, um, kickboxing, kickboxing, uh, the balance, you, the balance you have beam. The sports Emmy. I have the sport. Yeah, I, I actually yeah. got. Yes, yeah, so I get to keep my. Yes. I get to keep my sports Emmy now forever because I got a torn meniscus. That's proof. Yeah, that's because somebody was trying to rob you on Housen Street. Yeah, yeah that could be. We don't have to tell yeah. them. He has a sports Emmy. That's yeah. all they. Yeah, do. yeah. So I, you know, I'm not worried about it, but uh, no, it, 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 you know, so she gave me the shot and uh, she said she did it for the, uh, the, the tendon below the meniscus, which she was pushing on and it was hurting. And so she said, let's do it. And she says, it, it, it'll make it feel better. He, she says, it's going to feel great, you know, right after the shot because it has an anesthetic in it. But once it's, it's in there, it takes about five days, she says, and you should feel a lot better. And I already feel better, you know. So that's good, you know. Plus, I had my you physical therapy. What? Tell you it was a placebo. <laughs> no, I, I saw her putting it in. There were like two different, three different things she was putting into the syringe altogether. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, 
And then she took a she took a sonogram of my knee, oh, so cool. she could look at it and see exactly where she had to put it. Uh -huh. but, you know, oh, and nice. then she marked it, I guess, with an X or something, and then she did it. Uh, and uh, I said to her, I said, "Man, they're just using sonograms like crazy. You know what they're using it for on my knee also, well, just to be able to massage and warm up the inside okay. of the of the knee." Yeah. Yeah, he just, it's like he puts yeah. the jelly on there. I think I'm going to have a baby in my <clears throat> knee, you know. <laughs> and uh, and then I went to my urologist, and he did the entire examination using a, uh, a, a sonogram. And he says, if we find that maybe your uh, your uh, count has gone up, what, what are we talking about, the... Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, the, uh, yeah. uh, your uh, yeah. PSA. PSA, if, if it goes up uh, 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 in a way that we want to take a look, he said, but, you know, right now I'm, I'm still at, like I'm at a 2.8, and that's fine. Uh, but he said we will take another one in six months. And if it goes up a little bit, he says, well, we'll check your prostate. He says we'll do it with the sonogram. He sticks the sonogram thing up your butt. And which, that's which, yeah, yeah. And, and he can see more than if he were to try and feel stuff in there. So well, they're all the, working. Uh, they're all working with well, just, You know, I talked to him about uh, the uh, the MRI uh, prostate exam, mm -hmm. and he says, "Oh yeah, that's uh, it's very good." He says, "But the probe that we have to use is about the size of a Coca Cola can, oh. and we have to insert it in the rectum." So I said, I guess I'll be getting the standard. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess I'll be. I'll be. Just, I, I think I'll, I'll just. I'll just keep putting hamsters up there for the time being. Yeah. Jeff, you you heard it correctly, Have Jeff. A coke and a smile. I think he ripped his earphone yeah, out. A coke and a smile, Tony. Oh, said. I'm sorry, because I like to rub it off, Bobby. But if you <laughs> blame you. But, so I gotta, I'm yeah. gonna switch you to to sonar for other applications. Other applications. You no. Know, yeah, right. you know, Trump told everybody about how we have our submarines yeah. hidden. <laughs> Not realizing that I, submarines go underwater so nobody knows they're there. They're coming to the Hudson River. You wouldn't believe it. Well, there is, what, there is one way that you can find them, and that is what they call the sonar buoy. Yeah. And it's a ultrasound kind of thing and when yeah. a submarine goes by they it, like imagine if a, a russian sub well they've used sonar by. for years to see oh we have them all up and down the coast both coasts i'm yeah. sure right, because yeah. of the german the buoys, yeah. boats yeah they're that, all uh, over the world now yeah just mm -hmm. everywhere yeah. and that way you can find out who's going by and and not only that a submarine went by but yeah. which sound of it so therefore you can tell us how big it is or what yeah. well i just read a story where, where it came the, from all where, that kind of where stuff. the russians have pull, are pulling all their spies out of the united states because they don't need them anymore now that trump has a big mouth <laughs> oh, that was so bad. fake news <laughs> more fake news so oh by the way i found something yesterday it was kind of interesting uh, it, it was not interesting it's kind of boring in a way but it, it was over at Associated Press, and they had an area called Corrections. Mm -hmm. And Phil will like this. Look how many corrections in one day, Phil. Ooh. Uh, from uh, who were they correcting? So well, here, here's a good Damn. example. Uh, Anchorage, Alaska, AP, in a story May 27th about topic, it says there. I don't know. The Associated Press reported erroneously that Alaska's Arctic National Wildlife Refuge covers 2,300 square miles or 5,957 square kilometers. The refuge is about 30,000 square miles, or about 70,000 uh, square kilometers. Okay. I can let them off the hook on that. Yeah, 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 but no, they feel they have to correct it. Correction. Uh, in uh, Terramina, uh, uh, Italy, stories May 26th and 27th about Donald Trump's body language during his first trip overseas since taking office the Associated Press reported erroneously that Ron Dermer was Trump's ambassador to Israel. Dermer is Israel's ambassador to the United States. Oh my God! That's a yeah. That's a <laughs> that's a. Now, that's on a, what page? On what page do they put this? Th no, uh, this is the, actually if you go to Associated Press, they have like local news, 
national news, science Weird news, news whatever, and at the end it, <laughs> right. says, it says corrections. Oh. Yeah, so it's easily so accessible. It's there. Yeah. yeah. Let me see here. Uh, in a story May 25th about the murder indictment, uh, let me see here, about the murder indictment against Janine Jones, the Associated Press misspelled the last name of the infant for whose death Jones was previously convicted of murder. Look, look at what, oh, 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 damn it. I was, you know what that was? No. Nope. I, I was, uh, I, had my, I had my hand on my, uh, uh, <laughs> no. on, on, on my, on the, uh, thing here. Okay. What happened? We're fine. What? No, I, what happened Did was, it feel good? no, I had my hand on, uh, it was accidentally hitting the, uh, what do you call the, the switchboard, uh, the keyboard. Mm. Uh, so, oops. Uh, oops. Oopsie. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. In a story May 25th about the murder indictment against Janine Jones, the Associated Press misspelled the last name of the infant for whose death Jones was previously convicted of murder. She was Chelsea McCle uh, McClellan, not McClelland. Oh. Isn't this interesting stuff? E and not A. Okay. I'd like to hear more of this. Uh, in a Man. story May 23rd about so a, jury, a jury awarding $256.5 million in a lawsuit against Nissan, Associated Press, relying on court documents, reported erroneously on some aspects of the case. Some aspects, right? Yeah. Uh, here's one out your way in California. Uh, in San Francisco, story May 24th, the Associated Press reported the tennis star Serena Williams has 39 Grand Slam titles. The figure includes 14 for doubles and two for mixed doubles, and she has 23 singles titles. That's just for the size of her ass. Yeah. I could go on with more of this stuff, but they, 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 they do admit, Phil, they do admit to their mistakes. You can't smack you can she's no you can't smack that ass <laughs> no nothing about her don't she's god don't leave her alone oh. if, if you had those kind of medals and those kind of championships at, at, at that level they should be kissing her ass but because she's a black woman they she doesn't get as anywhere near as much advertising play as the rest of her you can't miss her ass Who's that? Serena Williams. Yeah. She's a great cat. And that thing's all freaking muscle. She's not playing this year. 90% muscle. She's not playing this year. Oh, she's not playing? No. She's pregnant. She's pregnant. Oh. And I don't think I don't think it's a good idea to play that kind of tennis if you're pregnant. Yeah, she's not playing and she's pregnant and she's still married. Yeah, she's well, married. she played up, and I mean, the last thing that she won, she was already three months pregnant, and she was still won. Holy shit! Yeah, oh, yeah. But I, I think at that point you can still do it, you know. But I mean, right now she's probably yeah. A water breaks on the third match. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Everybody was freaking out. Um, Phil, you know who she, who she's, who the baby daddy is, or who she's marrying, or whatever. Is she stuff. married to him, or is she going to marry him? I think she's going to marry him. I don't think. Well, wait. No, I don't know. I do not know if she's married to him. I don't think so, but you're, it's... All right, but who, who is it? Uh, the guy from Reddit. R-E-D-D-I-T. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the guy who invented and runs Reddit. Mm -hmm. um, now, Serena Williams, uh, her father is a very uh, overbearing kind yeah. of uh, in-charge kind of guy. Now, he didn't beat the shit out of this guy from Reddit? Oh, stop. 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 Yeah, I saw. I saw. In, in such, it was such a nerd thing. So here's the picture: a tall, white, thin nerd holding up a brilliant tennis champion, and he's barely keeping her up because he's such a nerd. I'm sure it was. He had no, he has no muscle, no or little muscle definition, but here he was, was holding her, and I was like, put her down before you drop her, for fuck's sake. <laughs> but he's a tall, skinny guy, so it was like, you know, it's it's definitely opposites attract as far as physicality goes in these two. Yeah, yeah. Tall, thin, nerd. That's the easiest. He makes Bill Gates look well-fed. <laughs> okay. Okay. And Bill Gates is not. A I, Bill Gates, we're going to have to start running uh, a couple of uh, uh, benefits for him to make sure he is getting fed since Jeff Bezos is most likely going to be kicking him out of the top spot. I'm canceling my Amazon Prime. 
Why, why, you, why are you canceling your sense. Amazon Prime? Well, because I want Bill Gates to be the first trillionaire nerd. I don't want Jeff Bezos to get any of that. And if it's a monthly fee, well, I don't it's interesting. It. Here's, cool. here, here's what I don't get about Jeff Bezos uh, and and his getting uh, 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 haven't uh, made any money, making that much money yeah. is, is that I always hear that Amazon has yet to go into profit. So no, I thought they had already no, I don't accomplished think, that. I don't think they have gone into profit. No. You know, Alex, now that I'm living in a multi-unit building, uh, the mailman uh, or UPS guy delivers all the Amazon stuff to people's door. So I get off the elevator, I walk down the thing, and there's maybe 20 units, mm -hmm. 25 units on my floor. Mm -hmm. And as I'm walking down the hallway, it's Amazon, 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 in front of everybody's door. And uh, they got to be getting a cut of something. How much can it, you know, I know that they've got warehouses, they've got stock, a lot of it's third-party stuff. How, how could they not be making money? Well, you know, um, I... It was a theory, there was a theory going around in business prominent several years ago that a company didn't have to go into profit, that in fact it stayed in the, in the, in the red, uh, that it was more valuable than if it was in the black because the yeah, bankers, the bankers the would stay by it. You know, to get it tell to, that to the people I'm trying to sell my business to. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> you know, it only works for Jeff Bezos, but I mean, for yeah. years, I don't know if it's still true, but I agree with you. But, you know, somebody brought this up uh, yesterday to me. And um, who was it? I was sitting around. I was talking with somebody. And they said that they really, um, who was it? Was somebody who's in retail said that, that, in fact, retail is being ruined by Amazon. That yeah, the entire idea, malls, <laughs> malls, malls are going to start amazing. becoming just shells of them for their <laughs> former self. Because... Yeah. Macy's is closing some stores. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's a lot of stores closing. Twenty one is closing stores. I can't mm -hmm. believe how much more I would rather buy from Amazon than to go to a store. You know, I even shock. Oh, I know. I was talking to it was Bobby Slayton's brother who fixes, mm -hmm. repairs electronics. Okay, yeah. and he said that the the literally the businesses he does business with his business is down because people are not buying from uh, from retailers anymore they're simply buying from amazon and i told him that i i bought for instance i went on i bought a, a tv set mm -hmm. and they sent it to me and it came from a third party and it got here and the screen was broken right so yeah. i had to send the whole thing back and i had to go through that whole michigas Meanwhile, I still wanted that set, and I saw that Best Buy had it for exactly the same price. So I said, okay, I'll order it from them. And they said, when do you want it delivered? Tomorrow. <laughs> and yeah. I said, 11 o'clock. They said, okay, we'll be there at 11 o'clock to set it up for you. There are some companies that do a really good job. And of I got to tell you. Online presence. Yep, yeah, but the thing mm -hmm. is, the thing is, Best Buy is tr doing their best now to try and compete with Amazon. They will meet yeah. the price, but they mm -hmm. have a, an advantage in that they will come out to your house and literally install the thing for you. A yeah. lot of times they will at Amazon too, but you have to buy directly from Amazon. If it's a third party, that doesn't happen. And it came broken, okay? Yeah. So, you know, uh, it... it um, well, there, there are brick and mortar retailers that I trust and have a very good online presence. So, for instance, with camera stuff, I have no hesitation about buying from either Adorama or B&H. And uh, I think you know, Adorama is highly overpriced. Uh, they're the same as B&H. Well, B&H is highly overpriced. Well, I know. Uh, you know. So, stuff. I mean, do you like to get ripped off? Why don't you go to Amazon and get the same thing cheaper and better and faster? I, because I it comes from a third party and you don't know what the fuck you're getting. You know, I never liked Adorama. I went into the store and it's just, I felt it was just a sleaze. The store is very basic, but you know, it's like five or six stories. On the seventh floor, they have, uh, un it's their underwater uh, uh, Yeah, and you go out to B&H and it's yeah. huge too. But all I'm saying is, is that, uh, um, I, you know, I, I'm, I, I'm not, a, not that crazy about B&H. I mean, if I'm going to look for 
the lowest price on something, I'll look at what B&H has got, and then I'll go over to Amazon and probably get 10, 20 bucks off on it. And, well, you know, they'll match, too. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, uh, by the way, uh, we've been joined by Brian. Hi, Brian. Turn on your camera if you can. Uh, I'm calling you from the oh, phone. Oh, I see. Okay. Right. Yes, Jeff. Way. Yes, Jeff. According to Mr. Google, Amazon made $22 million Billion. Dollars Bi of profit this quarter. $22 million yeah. dollars in profit? Right. That's not a lot when you're talking about profit. It's not. But, but it's but a it's quarter. Still paid everybody. It's still a quarter. That's incoming ROI. Or, uh, uh, dollars a share. Per quarter. Over that's a lot of money per quarter. Yeah, but all I'm saying is that's only about 88. You know, uh, uh, I know companies, for instance, Sirius. It's a half X, a billion dollars. Sirius that's XM will make about $2 billion this year, and it's nowhere in the category of an Amazon. What I'm saying is I think Amazon runs at close to a loss and we'll call that close to a loss just like costco uh, just costco no costco makes money on the on the membership that uh, i told you that that's why you right. know that right. that's true but you've repeated many stories yeah. many times yeah yeah <laughs> you, you have low bandwidth tonight do you know that like, you, you, no. you yeah. freeze up every now and then and then your your sound is kind of you know let me check it okay uh, oh, okay i see why some uh, why uh, um you were on wi-fi uh, yeah, but uh, my Wi-Fi is uh, the wrong network. Uh, uh, I see. But the other network, not sure. Slower. Yeah. Well, anyway, so, all I'm saying. I, I want Bill Gates to be the first trillionaire. I just, well, I don't want Bezos. Well, to be I, I would like him to be the first trillionaire because somewhere along the line, he learned how to be a decent human being. Who, Gates or uh, Gates? Bezos? Gates. Yeah, I think. Oh, Bezos has never learned how to be a decent human being. No. <laughs> right I'll be back in a second. Yeah. Okay. What's his name? I think he's right up there with Ellison. He's right up there with Ellison? Yeah, Bezos. Yeah. <coughs> well, Ellison is the biggest creep ever. He's uh, just who's Ellison? amazing. What? Oh, Larry, uh, Larry, Ellison. Larry Ellison. Ellison. Oh, Oracle. He Oracle. Owns, okay. He owns Oracle. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, is this better? Yeah, much better. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Well, the, it's just that if you're going to talk, if people, if you, if he hits a trillion, then... All the nerds across the planet should should rejoice. Well, he's not close to a trillion, is he? No, he's like eighty billion. Actually, yeah. Well, how much is a trillion? A trillion is a thousand million. A billion, isn't it? No, uh, yeah. hundred billion. A hundred billion is a trillion. No, it's a hundred billion. No, 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 no. It's a thousand billion. Thousand billion. A thousand billion. Thousand billion. That's a heck of a lot. <laughs> yeah, he's still a long way from a thousand billion. Yeah, he's what no, at about eighty or eighty-four. You know, there was a time when we didn't have a concept. Of, uh, of, of, a billion. Of, of, of a billion. And so much so that there was a movie called Gabriel Over the White House with, John, with uh, Walter Houston. And it was about a, a president who dies and is then brought back to life by Gabriel who embodies him with the, he has to do good things. He's kind of a mean president, but he's supposed to do good things, right? And at one point, he's appealing to the leaders of the world Okay, he's appealing to the leaders of the world and saying, if you do what I tell you to do, uh, you can make uh, 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 hundreds of thousands, if not thousands of thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. But he never once said the word billion. Or million. Or, mi or million. Well, no, he said million. He said you can make oh. hundreds of millions of dollars. Okay. Uh, maybe even a thousand million. Wow. You know, so we never even had the concept of a billion back mm. then. You know, nobody even came close. Not even the Astors. God bless them. They own this building. Anyway. Yes. Uh, That's where the Astor. Well, I was just going to say that was uh, I was watching something today. It was one of those, you know, treasure hunt things. We were talking about that John Jacob Astor may have have at one point or another early on. He all of a sudden had all this money. And they said it may have been from somebody who had found one of Captain Kidd's old treasure chests or something like that, mm -hmm. which is silly in itself. But they were talking about how how rich he he became that in today's money, it was something like like seven or eight billion dollars equivalent. He was the first American millionaire ever way back in the 1800s, you know, what whatever. This money because it was the started trends? with the fur trade and then he became a real estate mogul. Mm -hmm. And between the two of them, he just... No, I mean, and it, and he really shot up his his wealth went, and they were trying to figure out where did that money come from, uh, 
But uh, I mean, I never, I didn't watch the whole thing to see whether they actually were able to prove that he had any connection with any treasure chests or anything like that. But I was just fascinated by the fact that this guy was a millionaire this, this was back at, at a time when, yeah. if you know, you barely, if you made a thousand dollars a year, you were rich. <laughs> oh well, yeah. You know, during the uh, uh, during the twenties. Uh, a lot of people made a lot of money on speculation mm. uh, in the stock market. They had different rules, and they, they didn't have the taxation that they have today. You know, right? Well, they didn't they have, have that single tax. payer health care either. But they, you know, <laughs> they, they, you know, they. Uh, so you could make money uh, like the Vanderbilts or uh, uh, you know uh, other the Astors and uh, some of these. Uh, uh, you could also lose groups. money pretty quickly too. I mean, look at all the people when, when the crash happened. My right. dad went to college the uh, fall term of, of 1929, and there were a whole bunch of people that did not show up on the fall term of 1930 that were with him oh, because they, they couldn't afford it. Well, this, right. uh, this apartment house I live in was built by the Astors. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, you know, they had, the, they had the money to do this kind the of Waldorf thing. Astoria the Waldorf Astoria. The Waldorf Astoria yeah. they owned, and... Um, uh, then they built, they, 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 this apartment I'm living in is goes back to 1900. It's 217 mm -hmm. years old, uh, 117 years old. Yes, right. and, and not to make fun of you guys, but you got gas yet? Yes, uh, starting Monday. Oh my God! Congratulations! Did you have to pay big money hey, to get it hooked up? What? Did you have to pay big money to get it hooked up? Uh, your washer dryer connection. I haven't done that. We haven't done that yet. The I know, but if they put the gas in, are you still going to be on the hook for uh, the plumber? Yes, we are. Oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, if he try, try, we're going to use the plumber the building has, and if he tries to charge us too much, we'll get ourselves a plumber who will do it at a more reasonable price. All that he has to do is to call Con Ed, get permission to hook up a, wa a, a dryer, mm -hmm. right, and then put the pipes back the way they were, and the guy who took the pipes out left them all there and said, if these pipes need to be reinstalled, I can do it during my lunch hour. Well, why can't you call Con Ed and get the, uh, get the permission? Because I'm, you have to be a licensed plumber. Oh, you plumber. have to be an owner of the building, No, a licensed plumber. Yeah. You no, know, you don't have to be the owner of the building. You have to be a licensed plumber to get the permission. Pull the permit. Yeah, because in California, uh, you, you can act as your own contractor, uh, if you're not a contractor and and yeah. pull permits. Well, you know, we'll we'll, we'll get a, I, some is one of the guys said, well, he might charge you a thousand dollars to do it, and I said to myself, that's ridiculous. You know, we'll just we got a guy who'll do it for two hundred bucks. You know, pl mm -hmm. putting those pipes back in is, is a simple job. Yeah. yeah, but they're they're gonna tell you that they're not the right pipes, and it's gonna be a bitch. <laughs> Oh yeah, you got to no, upgrade no, the pipes. No, they're the right pipes. Upgrade no, the pipes. They're the they right pipes. They've been painted over, but they are the black pipes, supposedly. Yes, but you got the lead paint on it. No, so there's no, there's no lead. There's no lead paint on it. These are yeah. this is new paint. This yeah, no, you're gonna have to get hazmat in there. Yeah, uh, no, forget it. Forget. Just don't <laughs> give me. It. Listen, we still have. We've been doing our wash anyway and drying it by just putting it through the the uh, uh, the dry cycle. You know, uh, just the spin yeah. cycle yeah. for. You know, about five times, and it, it dries our clothes. We have to do it that way, you know. Well, congratulations. Are you guys going to have a potluck or something for everyone? Well, I, I said to her, what's the first thing we're going to cook? <laughs> oh, shoot. Hold on. That's probably me. Complex. I apologize. With deep hair hydration and 24-hour moisture. Discover more at You got an ad on there. Yeah. Sounds yeah. like. Good, a good ad. We should send him a bill. Yeah, I'm sorry about yeah. that. <laughs> well, uh, I was looking up the bill. You should know. send them a bill. Let me, no, let me bring up something that I, uh, last night I was listening to uh, uh, The Intersection. And for a brief time, uh, the uh, Amy, as, as she is her want, was complaining that we, well, we, we're going to have to get all these goods on Trump so we can, uh, so we can uh, uh, impeach him. And I started to think about it, and you know, impeachment bothers me. No. Nope. No. Well, don't say no yet. You okay? Then impeachment well, shouldn't have bothered you when they did it right? to Clinton. Yes, that's it, the it, issue. Oh, uh, 
it made us a laughing stock and brought the entire uh, uh, well, country wait a minute. It's to only because you didn't know. It's only two years and made him a lame duck president for bullshit. Oh, so you're going to do the same thing to Trump? Absolutely. Well, well then, then how are you better? How are you better than a fucking Republican? And I'm every, not, but, but they they said this is all theirs. They started it. We're just bringing it right back at him. What do you guys call that? A callback? Well, here's your callback, bitches. In, in California, uh, we uh, uh, we uh, uh, in, not impeached. Yeah, I think we did. Uh, uh, was it Gray Davis? And we Gray ended Davis. up with Schwarzenegger. Yeah. 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 You recalled him. But that yeah. was a special. Uh, now, 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 let me ask you, Renee. If your idea is you impeach uh, 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 Trump. Uh, who's president? You know, it, it, we're we are stuck with the Tea Party no matter what we do. Let's get the moron out of office and and oh no, try leave, to leave, leave the moron something. in office. He's much more entertaining than the guy that's going to follow him. Uh, you know what? That's fine. At least Pence is is schooled. At least Pence has technique. You know, Trump's got nothing. He's got no game. And it shows, and it shows across. No, you, you can say that all you want. You're still not making a case for impeachment. Oh, oh, wait. Okay, no. See, that's not fair. We can't make the cases for impeachment until they stop um, all of their investigations. And once they stop their investigations, and we know what's on the table or what's not on the table, then yeah, we'll for go day. for that. Record. Look, they're never you, going we, to stop the investigations. They're just going to have another one and another one. As that guy said the other night. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Pelosi, for instance, continues to call for investigations because she's got nothing, but they'll continue to investigate. See, you know what? They did the whole thing to, to, to Clinton, and it was ridiculous. So, yeah, let Nancy Pelosi run with it. Well, it wasn't— Don't it, it be was, a uh, wussy no, Democrat. No, there, there was a very definite reason why they, why they impeached Clinton. Can you remember what that was? Yeah, he lost. No, 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 don't say it. No, you say it. I want her to say it. Oh, no, he lied. They. Uh, he lied under oath. He lied under oath That's a, about something. And, and what is that? What is uh, that? What? what no, no, he no, lied what, under oath about something that they weren't even looking. I know for. that's you're absolutely correct, but he still no. <laughs> yeah. Nonetheless, he okay. lied under oath. Okay, <laughs> forget about the the chicanery that went on to get him there. They caught him. They got him. Okay. Great. They they painted him into a fucking corner. And, and how long did that painting him into another corner take? Well, it took quite a while. How long do you think Great. it's going to take to get to? How long do you think it's going to take to paint Trump into a corner? He's and then, him. and then you have to say, what's the crime? When we won't know until he's until we get there. Well, then but you yeah, then he, 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 all all you're trying to do is impeach for impeachment's sake, which is exactly what the Republicans did, and what I hated them for. You know what? The fact that we are the laughing, did, did you, the fact that he thinks what Will Durst said, Will Durst said it. He said, the presidency is not a beginner position. It is something, something that you work for an entire lifetime. Like 30, that has, 40, that has nothing, years. wait a minute, that has nothing to do with it. And, and Phil just said something which is correct, like Obama. Obama didn't have much experience, did he? But he had experience in government. No, he didn't. He showed up. Not he. He. No, he, he, he was. He was. He was. He was somebody who worked in the community. Uh, uh, so was Trump. He ran the Harvard paper. He um, had a bunch of po not not like Hillary politics, but way more than Trump did. No, Absolutely. not way more than Trump did. I mean, uh, you know, yeah. all, all I'm saying is that, uh, you know, uh, my rap on, on Obama when he was running was that he had no experience. He had been a senator, but he hardly had been a senator. He only was a senator for two years before he got okay. elected. And how, to, you know, junior to, junior senators just learn where the ju, junior senators after two years learn where the bathroom is. Com you know? Compare the first 200 days. Boy, I got trouble getting Tim on here. Seriously, compare the first 200 days and you let me know if that difference that Obama had made a difference. Because you can't compare Donald Trump's globe, orb-holding, bowing, he didn't nasty bow. slap back shit to whatever Obama you're, you're, did. You're, you're, it, it, all I'm saying is you're sounding like a Republican 
Obama. Yeah, you don't you know. care. I'm just giving it right back to them. Well, they, but that's not that's not a good reason. But the rest of the government's going on. Pence is doing it better than he than he's been doing. Uh, than oh, you're you're gonna Let's really you're Pence. gonna really love Pence when he closes down Planned Parenthood. You're gonna love Pence when he starts making life miserable for gays in this country, and saying that you've got to believe in his deficit religion. You know, it's still got to be better than Trump. It, it's got to be better than Trump. It Mike Pence has got to be better than Trump. If you believe in the process of 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 government, mm -hmm. in, in, in ambassadors, people who who go out into the into the world and say that I work for the United States government, you have to believe that Mike Pence is a far better human at that than Donald Trump is. And that's another thing. Why do you think he's such a great negotiator if all he's doing is executive orders? Look, I look, you have no argument with me on what a bad president Trump is. You have no Go. argument from me that I feel that he is he he is a lazy president, that he is not really doing his job, that he doesn't really want to be president. Whose fan is on Kevin, would you turn off your mic a second? Because you're the latest one. That's you. There's something in your room that's Let me making get it. noise. Yeah. I got enough pie for Okay. Him. Anyway, uh, you know, it, 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 all the things you want to say about Trump are fine, but impeachable. And when yeah, we do, we want to put the country through impeachment. Why don't you take all that effort that you're doing to try and impeach somebody you can't impeach, and put it towards making sure that we get a Democratic Congress come uh, the next election periods. With all due respect, you're being a wussy Democrat. No, I'm not being a wussy Democrat at all. <laughs> right, what I'm, I'm being, being I'm being a realist and a practical yeah. and a pa practical Democrat and someone who's saying, why waste our time mm -hmm. jerking off when we you can what when Italy we can spend our time getting stuff done? Yes, Jeff. I am looking forward to Trump having a big heart attack, maybe even two, <laughs> <laughs> and that's the way that I think. He could be. Would, and, well, and that's there's a good possibility of that. It's he's almost, getting fatter and fatter. I don't know what he's doing, but he must be eating the national budget. Yeah, you're right. It's heavy, Alex. That's almost a Kathy Griffin comment there. <laughs> she's a psycho. Too. <laughs> <laughs> that's, she's not even funny. Hold on a How many times you remember Obama was president for eight years? How many times have we seen the right wing people stuff a black kind of shapely person and put a noose around its neck and take I'm it to one nervous. of their events and one of their rallies. I, I, I Googled it and there's at least 25 photos on Google, 25 different photos of Obama-like people with nooses around his neck. Well, look, I have no love for Kathy Griffin. And let me say as somebody who knew comedians either. and knows comedians, that she is largely considered to be, and I have found her to be, a cunt. OK, but nevertheless, I don't think she should have gone down for this. OK, I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, what, so how is that different than burning a guy that's got a noose around? Him? She's a comedian or an alleged comedian. She's a comedian. She's a, it's part of what a, she does for a living. Do they have different rules for comedians? Uh, yes. OK, uh, yeah. that I did. Know. Satire. Yeah, it's called satire. Now, uh, can I mention uh, on uh, one of Marjorie's posts, there was a lady that uh, I made some sort of comment, and she, she came back and said, Phil, 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 Trump needs to be taken down along with his entire administration. He should be undermined at every level uh, in an effort to save the world from him and his merry band of fools, okay. cheaters, liars, yeah. thieves, before it's too late. Uh, we are the people, we are worn out by this constant turmoil and this nut job president. He's dysfunctional. He's putting a country in total chaos. And of course, Phil, you don't see it. Uh, uh, you, for some reason, you're in love with this maniac. The doomsday clock is ticking. Phil, sooner or later, alarm will go off. Trump will be done. And I pray it won't be too late. This is, this is the kind of thing that Renee is buying into because what she... 
is saying is she doesn't care what they get the guy on. She just wants to get the guy. It's no different than they thought the Electoral College could be struck down, that the uh, uh, electoral delegates could be struck. They look at every single little thing with, uh, with a hope and a prayer, but that's not the way things get done. We oh. lived through the Bill Clinton impeachment. We were traveling the planet, and the Italians were laughing at us via the internet with how stupid this the is Italians, for a blowjob. These, these guys can't keep a government in power for more than six months. The it Italians doesn't matter, Bill. The only thing they can do for them is carbohydrates. You know what? You started it for a stupid reason. We're more than happy to give it right back at you. Well, that, that's not the way it works. That's oh, oh, now that we're doing it to you, it's you know? Is it not? It's not fair. It's a, if it's coming back. Yeah, in. I don't care if it's fair or not. I just think that it's child. Yeah, uh, John. John. John, a, John has his. Obama wasn't born in this country. John. Hold on a second. John it's has like, everybody. Everybody, everybody, shut up a second. John okay. has his hand up. No, I was actually basically go on that. That the that the republic that I know, wasn't always the mainstream republicans but there were quite a few that were trying to get obama out oh he wasn't born here oh he was born in kenya oh same, he same he didn't actually get a degree at columbia oh i mean they were trying to find any reason to get him the hell out now there are people on the other side they're finding similar trying to find similar reasons to get trump out the problem is some of those may actually happen. I mean, he, you know, if they if they can prove that he actually told Comey to to cut down to, to okay. shut down the investigation, that's that if that's not impeachable, I don't know what is. Hold on a second. Let me try and answer this call from Tim. Tim, I don't know what the problem is, Tim, but you're you're having a real problem here getting through to us. Oh, I, it's it's working now. Yeah, it's working because I picked up, but it isn't. It won't pick you up when I'm with the group. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. So what I would do is just start a fresh, uh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, let me let me go here and let me resume the call. You guys all still there? Yeah. 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 I just had to tell Scott, Tim. Scott didn't like me. They took me down. <laughs> well, That's what you say mean things about Trump. Okay, who on Skype? <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. And, and, and I, I am a person who believes in yeah, fairness, and I was sitting there listening to this last night and going, "Dream on! You're not going to impeach this guy." Okay, that your your energies would be better suited to making sure that your candidates get elected in the fall elections and in the pre next fall's elections, and that we start stacking the Congress with 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 good people. Yes, Jeff. Isn't uh, am I correct or not? And, and I'm not I'm not sure about this, but I think that for for do this against the president. Mm -hmm. All it requires is to get s some people in the Senate, probably the majority, mm -hmm. to say that we want to bring them in and ask them all kinds of questions. And, and that ultimately, if those qu questions and answers are so terrible, yeah. we could fire him for any reason that they feel appropriate. Is that is that correct? Fire who? Fire. Fire. Well, we can't remove him from office unless you impeach him. Once or, you impeach him. Yes. Okay. Once you impeach him, then we can remove him. Right. But the first but step. No, there's no other specific requirements. We got to impeach him first. Okay. Uh, so what are the requirements for impeachment? has to remove them, right? That's that's what they're looking for now is what might be, um, you know, what did he open himself up to in order for us to do the search and then figure out what to impeach him for. Do me a Which favor. Which the, the investigations are just starting. Do me a favor, Renee. Turn your camera on and off again. You're frozen. And so is John, I believe. John, are you oh, there? Oh, am I? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I only have one picture. And, and that's Kevin, too. I have four or five, but they're all over the place. Yeah, they're, they're good. Well, no, no, everybody is. What is this? Yeah, 
Okay. Well, why why are you suddenly why I turn it off it won't go back on. Yeah, I can't oh, there it is. camera. So you know what? I wouldn't be going down this rabbit hole if I didn't have to have that stuff thrown in my face about Bill Clinton and making our government completely worthless for two frickin' years and forcing us to sit through that. So if this man's got something with Russia happening, I want to know about it. And one of the only ways we're going to find out is to request, legally request his ta copy of his taxes. Okay, I, I'm not getting John and I'm not getting Renee. Turn off your cameras again. Turn I them can't. Off. Turn them off. You, you can't? No. Okay, let me do something. Let me hang up on everybody and no. let's let everybody call me back, okay? All right? That's yes, the best sir. way for us to, to handle this. Uh, 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 hold I don't even know how to get rid of these things. Uh, uh, I just want to get rid of, oh, there we go. There we go. We got rid of them. Okay, now let me just uh, hide the conversation or leave the conversation. Yeah, yeah, leave it. Okay. Okay, There's there, here comes Jeff. There's Jeff. Now here comes Renee. Um, Renee, uh, turn your, turn your uh, ca camera on. Jeff, turn your camera on. Okay, now we're going to go get Kevin here. Bring Kevin in. Kevin, turn your camera on. Jeff, try turning your camera on. Are you having trouble? With yeah, it went off again. Really? Yeah, I, I, tog, I had to do it a couple of times. Yeah, do it. Uh, wait, can you see me well, first right before I make that statement? Maybe you can't see me either. Wait, wait, wait. I can see I can you. See I can you. see you. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I had to do it at least two or three times hmm. with the video camera on and off, on and off. Uh, okay. Let me, I'm going to let me take myself off and try it again. Okay. Do it. Uh, hello, Phil. Yeah. Okay. Turn on your camera. Oh, okay. I got a toggle. Yeah. Here comes Jack Bishop. Bishop. Oh, here He's, comes Jack. Jack. Okay. <laughs> Can you, can, you, uh, can you see me? No, I can't see you. Can't see you. Turn on your camera. Let's see. Mm -hmm. You know, you guys just put forth the greatest uh, argument. Wait a minute. Turn, turn on your camera first. Okay. John Rockwell, turn on your camera, please. Well, he's, right. he's not there. John Rockwell isn't there. There's yes. Jack. Yes. Here sure. comes Kevin. There we got Kevin. All right. We're getting there. Uh, Jeff, are you there still there? No. Is your, can you turn on your camera? We can ah. hear you. John, can you turn on your camera? Uh, I'm not sure I can. Yeah, oh, there, there you go. go. There you go. Am I on? Uh, okay. You're going to, you're probably Well, I got on. cut off and I had to click on the There you are. And, and Jeff. Wow. So, Jeff, you're the only one. Come on, Jeff. Jeff's having to call back in again. <laughs> He's calling back in again. Uh, anyway, this, this is what happens occasionally, folks, uh, with uh, a little thing we call Skype. And it sometimes fucks us up in the middle of a, a rather important conversation that we're having. So, you know, <laughs> bad technology, whatever. bad technology, well, evil. Well, now, what were you going to say, Jack? <laughs> you guys just put forth, you guys just put forth the greatest argument ever for why we need the ability to have votes of confidence and no confidence in uh, our yeah. government. Well, when was the last time we had that? We don't have it. We never have had it. We you never have it. Way not back. officially. Constitutional something. Not like Britain or somewhere where they can vote you out with no confidence. Okay. Yeah. And I and I think even Phil Meyer would agree with me on that. No. Because then uh, it's not the vote of the people. Right. It's Wait. not the vote of the people as it is now. Yeah, that's a Jeff, there, here, here come your camera, Jeff, any second now, and we'll be fine, I think. I think I got it. There we go. There we go. You're fine. Okay. Jeff. Okay. Now, Thanks, Jeff. Uh, but anyway, now, now we're all feeling a little better here now. Uh, but last night I was listening to you guys, Jack, and, and the whole thing about, about, forget about what we should have. Uh, there's Tim, and there's Brian. Okay, and... Uh, well, wait a minute. I, I did say add to... Tim's having a problem tonight. I don't know what it is, Tim. I really have no idea what your problem may be. Are you there, Tim? See? Can't hear him. No. 
There he yeah. goes. He's disappearing, Which... and there goes Brian. I don't know. Anyway, forget the problems. What were you gonna? Uh, what I was trying to say, Jack, is what I heard you guys doing was, you know, oh, let's uh, we got to do the impeachment, and we got to get him out, and so on. It just get used to the fact that if Trump wants to be president, barring a heart attack, which we can all, uh, uh, Jeff has put forth sure. as a possible scenario, uh, we're stuck with him, you know. And and well, all we can, well, all we can do is slow him. What we what we can I, do is slow him down. I wouldn't argue that point with you, but just because we may not get him out doesn't mean we shouldn't try. Well, I don't think, I think that when we try, we slow the government down completely. Uh, they, Wait a minute, hold on a second, Renee. We, 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 we put, hold, what's the word I'm looking for? We, we, we do, we, well, look at what happened with Clinton, you know. Hi, Brian. Uh, what happened with Clinton? Uh, you know, it, it, it put, it makes the country, it's not that it puts the country on hold, it stalls makes it, it, it stalls it. Well, and, me, and, and that doesn't just mean that doesn't just mean you're stalling Trump. You're stalling everything. Right. Alex, let me ask you this. Did the mail get delivered? Did potholes get filled? Did your Social Security check arrive on time? Did, were contracts let? To why? People? Why do you want to become a Republican and try and impeach Trump? I don't want to be a Republican. Because that's exactly what the Republicans did with Clinton, and I hated it when they did it with him, and I, and I, I would probably be arguing against it if they tried it with, with I think, Trump. I think impeachment would be too good for the son of a bitch. I think I'd, it, I'd much rather drag him through court for the, for, the, for the rest of his term and a couple of years after. Well, well, yeah, but what court are you going to dra drag him through? For what? I'd much rather. Hey. Didn't say we had a court that could do it. What crime did he commit? Well, uh, there are those people that speculate that yes, there was something uh, unwarranted with the Russians. We don't know, okay. but let's but let's let the How, investigation. Do you think that's ever go going on. to be in our in our lifetime, Jack? Proven? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Do you think in our lifetime it's ever going to be proven? Absolutely. Uh -huh. this is, there's going to be a money trail if he turns over his taxes. No, his taxes, I bet, won't show that. You think it's going to be all of his son I think. I think the reason he doesn't want to show his taxes is he doesn't want to show everybody how poor he is. I think that, too. Could be, could be, but hey, you know, so, you know, he if he didn't want the job, he shouldn't have run for it. And, and I don't think he ran, wanted the job. He was doing everything he could not to get it. Well, he yeah. wound up with it, and, you know, Sometimes you get what you don't want in this. What did Mick say? You can't always get what you want. Yeah. Yeah, but that's a song from a stupid but Englishman. But it, you know. it is. But it was a truth too. Uh, sometimes you get what you need. That's right. I, I don't think he needed this. We didn't need. I this. don't think he was planning on winning it. I don't think he was in it to win it. I well, don't think there was all... anybody more surprised on election e uh, election night than Donald Trump. Well, we've all speculated about that, uh, you know, that the real thing was to be in a position to launch the Trump News Network. Well, uh, uh, you know, I uh, uh, often felt that it read kind of like the movie and the, and the movie The Producers, in which it was, well, let's run for office and do everything yes. we possibly can not to get elected. Then we'll make a whole bunch of money and then we'll start a news network and we'll do this and that. And all of a sudden you wake up uh, the next morning after the election and go, where do we go right? You know, and, and, was Max and, and, stack when we needed him. Well, uh, uh, I, in <laughs> fact, uh, I can't remember where it was. It might have been the Kimmel show or some other show where they did a parody uh, using uh, the people in the movie, uh, Nathan Lane and uh, what's his name, uh, doing, hey, if we ran a guy for president and he did everything wrong, then we'll have all this money, blah, 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 blah. And I really think it was like it was being set up like the producers, and it just it was it failed. Hi, Brian, are you there? Yes, is my camera on? Uh, no, of course. <laughs> Did anybody? Uh... It's on now. Yeah. Okay. There you go. There you go. Catch. Uh, I, I don't yeah. want to get off the subject, but I got one question. I could. I guess I could tweet you, but uh, what was that Peter Falk movie uh, that you recommended? Uh, tune in tomorrow. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, um, it, it, you know, all I'm saying is, is that it, it read like the producers. I don't think he wanted to win that election. 
And I don't think he's enjoying really very much being president of the United States either. Uh, Did anyone catch uh, that interview with Hillary today on CodeCon? I saw, I didn't see the interview. I heard a discussion about it. I, I caught part of it. And she basically admitted that they sat back on their laurels and screwed up at the end of the at the end of the uh, election mm -hmm. yep. and her campaign basically said it's in the bag let's not worry about it and it backfired the only bag is the one who uh, lost to one over uh, yeah, yeah I, uh, I knew Phil would like that but you know yeah. I, I, I only caught she parts of claiming she's a victim that uh, that it was the Russians it was Comey it was this it was that it was her people yeah. and she, she never looks into herself well, well, that was an admission right there. She admitted that she screwed up. Well, so, finally. this time, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not a Hillary backer by any means, but <clears throat> she did admit it. But, Phil, what politician ever does? Uh, come, yeah, well, on, come on, I put the ball in your court. That's you, my problem. You know, oh, that on, maybe shit. You know, he might have been true. <laughs> Look, uh, I was I was never a big fan of Hillary's. Um, I I just didn't I, I it wasn't a question I didn't trust her. I I just didn't I felt she was not genuine. Okay, yeah. and that she was putting on an act to make me vote for her. Yep. And now, uh, hey, Renee met her in person. What, did you yeah. feel she was genuine, Renee? Yeah, but we didn't talk that long, so it's not like I had. A lot of FaceTime with her. She, but you know what? She is kind of the she is kind of the epitome of the saying: if you can't be sincere, fake it. And and I might agree with that. But but you're still saying that you that you didn't like her just because she wasn't your ideal or typical woman candidate. No, not now. You're playing that woman card. No, no. I would I would have That's been very right. happy to vote for a woman. Putting words in your I'd be very happy to vote for a woman. Brian, if 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 but if, if there was a good woman running, <laughs> I didn't feel there was a good woman running, and I think that you were being sexist by voting for her just because mm -hmm. she was a woman. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. And I wasn't voting for Bernie Sanders just because he was Jewish. And you know. I wasn't going to vote for Bernie Sanders because, A, I felt he was too old. Pardon me. I can be an ageist. I'm older than he is. Mm -hmm. And secondly, because I didn't feel he would make a good administrator. Uh, I felt he, I, his politics were in the right place. But I don't think he had the ability to do it. To pull it yeah, off. I would love to have had a Jew in the White House, but on the other hand, it wouldn't have been Bernie for me. Well, he wouldn't have a Jew in the White House anyway because he's pretty much an agnostic. You know? Well, when they come looking for Jews, he counts. Well, in that case, yes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, but all I'm you saying, have, saying Renee, is choice. no, it had nothing to do with her being a woman. In fact, that was maybe the only thing that I had going for her was that it would be nice to get a woman elected. But that I just felt she was insincere. I didn't feel that. Uh, I felt she was trying to, like, you know, mm. sell us all a bill of goods about herself. Sell us whatever she I has have to say, of the two candidates, the most honest about who he was was actually Donald Trump. Uh, no, that's not true either. And I, I thought I, he was I, full of shit. Well, you, you, no, no, Trump hey, if being full of shit has nothing to do with whether you weren't seeing the genuine article. Exactly. Because yeah. But Donald Trump was pro-choice before he started this. Donald Trump didn't give a rat's ass where the money was coming from, whether it was Muslim or not, as long I'm as still the money saying, was coming. I'm still saying that I knew I'd be getting the guy I got, and I, and I, and I got Racist. the guy I got. Look, first, Jack's got his hand up, and then Brian. Look, let's never confuse politicking with governing. There are two different articles. That's I contend that that governing is a minuet while politicking is a street fight. And I don't think we should ever expect more than that. Yeah. And, and Renee, you know, people can have on this uh, choice issue, I'm pro-choice for other people. If it was my, if it was uh, for yeah. me, after my experiences, I would choose another route. But as far as I'm concerned, if someone wants to be pro-choice and they want to get an abortion, there's no reason that they shouldn't. Uh, it's I can only do what I can do for me, and I wouldn't tell anyone else not to get one. Yeah, Alex, but that's uh, not how it went down. I have a question. Okay. My question is, uh, 
you, you if, I, if I remember correctly what you said a few minutes ago, it's not that I don't trust her or that I don't find it, that I don't find her untrustworthy. It's just that I don't feel she was genuine. How can you trust somebody who isn't genuine? Well, it's the same thing as saying I don't trust her, I guess. Right. It's one and the same as far as I'm concerned. Well, I mean, she, she, yeah, she, she had a trust problem. Uh, Trump's uh, Trump was always Trump. I mean, whether he was off the rails or not is another question altogether. But you knew what you were getting with Trump. Well, you didn't you know, know, you didn't know if you were getting the real thing with Hillary. And that's I think that's I think, I and I think that's I, I think that's why. This, I, but I think listening that's, to Trump campaign. Yeah. And dish out all the bullshit. I thought, okay, he's gonna he's gonna play the opposite card. He's gonna come back and all of a sudden he's gonna be different. You know, he would he would play this bullshit card during the campaign and see if he can get in, then he gets in and does things right. I was I wasn't about I wasn't about ready to take that chance. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I know. Everything he said was gonna do. Kevin, you know, he's uh, he's doing he's doing everything, you know, now whether it gets through or not is a different story. But he's doing or trying to do uh, all of his promises. So far, most yeah, of the stuff no, that it, no. most of the stuff he signed executive orders have yeah, not flown. See, like the Keystone Pipeline, coming uh, you... out of uh, TPP, uh, 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 maybe the Paris uh, Climate Accord. No, now you're you're a guy. The guy you like, the Secretary of State, thinks that's a bad idea. But can he yeah. do it without pissing everybody off? And is that the way we want the government, uh, rather the country, to go? You take right. a look at a lot of other things that are going on since this man I'm, took over my Oval Office. And I have to ask you, are we satisfied? Uh, there's a lot of people that are. You know, you you weren't satisfied prior to the election with Trump, and you're not satisfied with him now. And I wasn't and, satisfied and, with the guy that was in the office before him. Right. Most people, it wouldn't matter who was in there, if it was Reagan or Washington, George Washington, people aren't going to be satisfied. And, you know, uh, Lincoln put it, you can satisfy some of the people some of the time, but you can't satisfy all the people. And, all as, the and as my dad said about poker playing, you can fool some of the people some of the time, and that's damn good enough. <laughs> I, I am ashamed to be an American. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm actually very proud of what Trump is doing. Well, I don't care what you think, Phil. He's, he's, uh, I I am uh, uh, absolutely ashamed to be an American because when he represents us somewhere else, I think he makes us into a laughing stock. Well, that's what I felt about Obama when he went and started apologizing. He never made right? no. He never made this country a laughing stock. He, oh, he, he, he never did, did that. To Republicans, believe me, you know. Uh, Republicans, it, Phil, it, are just crazy and out of your damn minds. Oh yeah, that that's a good one. Yeah, <laughs> and that's from the heart. You know, I think if you if, if you build from, yourself as the, I'm sorry, if you I think if you build yourself as the great negotiator, that when it comes to executive orders, that shot probably ought to be the bottom of the bag. Well, no, there's certain so, things you can't get through as easily no, as you can. No, he hasn't even tried. Forward. He hasn't tried one time to work with either for, with well, the if, two if, together. If you have peace in the Middle East between the, uh, between the Palestinians yeah. and the Israelis, Go would ahead. you change your mind about Trump? Absolutely, but he ain't going to get it. It isn't going to happen. Because it has taken every president, have Every been, president known to mankind that's been his albatross they uh, everybody tried it reagan tried it uh uh, uh the bushes tried it uh this is the first time that they players have actually said we want to have an agreement when they yeah. had no uh, they've said it before the they've said died, it, wait a minute. they've uh, said it before phil They've said yeah, it before. Uh, Absolutely. Yes, sir. Arafat. Arafat. Yes, sir. Arafat. He actually did not want an agreement because he was making no, a lot no, of money. No, you can make up all the things you want to. You said there was never a, an agreement to agree, to try and find an agreement, and there have been in the past. Yes, you're yes, wrong. Yes, Arafat. Say did, you're wrong, uh, Phil. No, Jimmy he did, Carter. And no, Arafat. no. It, now you're making excuses. You're trying they to parse the, the truth. But the fact is, you're parsing the truth, and you're not saying. You, you said that they're, 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 this is the first time they've ever agreed to talk to each other. Wrong. No, I didn't say that. What I said was, this is the first time they agreed to make an agreement uh, and not just go through the motions. How do you know they've talked to they've talked to each other in the past, but with no intention on ever coming up with a resolution. 
And how do you know that's not what's yeah, happening right they've now? they've done that, and they just start dropping bombs again. Well, uh, this time, uh, yeah. Abbas and Netanyahu uh, have, and, and even the Saudis have, have, have uh, pushed to have a, an agreement and to have a, a lasting peace. And why and, do you think they're going to go through with it? Uh, because the you know who's, you know who's going to get fucked in all of this. You know who's going to get fucked in all of this. The Israelis, the Palestinians. Oh, oh, they're already fucked because there's not going to be a two-state uh, uh, resolution to this. But uh, you know, there's no. Well, there's no. There's, to me, there's no solution unless the the Palestinians. Uh, I want to see the Palestinians have their own state. As do I. Well, they get one. It's called Lebanon. You know. No, that's not their own state. Yeah, but that's Lebanon not, is in. Is not it, even, Lebanon nobody in. ever sits around and says how the Palestinians back in 1948 just absolutely got fucked. We, well, yeah. they didn't get fucked. They had a chance on a two state resolution and they turned it down. That's yeah, what they happened. Fucked. They turned it down. They fucked themselves. How did they turn it down? When did they turn it down? I'm they, not aware of this. Tell me oh, about it. Tell me. Get, when they try to come up with a two-state resolution, the Palestinians and the uh, Mufti of Jerusalem and uh, a number of others said there's no way that they want a two-state resolution. They want uh, that they want Palestine for Palestine for Palestine, and they don't want to recognize well, Israel. Well, it was in fact their home. Well, uh, you know, things change. It was, in fact, uh, that uh, that um, uh, Jordan uh, was not the uh, was not the king, whatever his name is, uh, home. You know, this is a hundred years old, uh, Jordan. You know, th things things have changed. There has been all sorts of people that have ruled these countries. The fact including is, the fact the is, the fact and, is that the Palestinians' homeland was what is now Israel. It's called Palestine. Right, and uh, but, but wait a minute, there, wait a minute. Let me finish. Let no me policy. finish. And all of a sudden, all these people show up in Haifa Harbor, and the 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 UN, uh, newly minted UN that didn't know what the fuck to do with them because he, they couldn't exactly tell them to turn around and go back home, uh, gave them the state of Israel. It was. was it was. British wait a minute. It control. was. Uh, I hate to say this. It was a bunch of your people and my people forcing this issue. No, it was uh, the British. Uh, they were in control of the area, and they basically gave it to the Israel. Uh, to, uh, to, uh, they made they formed the Israel. Israel, and and, and uh, therefore we disenfranchise an entire people who yes, make that whose homeland that is. Kind of like the American Indians. It's like yes, somebody. It's like some thing, Phil. Same thing. Yeah, same well, damn thing. It's just it, it's the way of the world. Oh well, I'm sorry, <laughs> Phil, but it's not the way of my world. Well, it's it's life's not fair. Well, if you don't like it, why don't you go up to Mohegan, uh, say to those Indians up there, look, you, you don't need this casino. You can have my apartment in Harlem. You know, it's you know we, we took this well, away wait, from you. Wait, what, was that, wait, wait, what was that? What was that? What, what was that supposed to be a comparison 20, to? I don't 20, understand it. Hey, look, you paid twenty four dollars for Manhattan Island. You ripped off the Indians That's from Manhattan right. Island. That's right. For a bunch of beads. That's right. And then all of a sudden, now Manhattan Island, you got all of this money. Trump's making At billions. least something changed hands. In the case of Israel, nothing changed hands well, except the country. Bought, they bought a lot of that land from the Palestinians. And, the Israelis and, paid for a and, lot of that land. And, Phil, where was the original proposal for a, uh, a state of Israel supposed to be? I don't know. Ohio? <laughs> I love Zealand? I love people who don't know their own history. Well, I, I don't know was that. It New Zealand? The original proposal was for uh, Israel to be in South America. Oh, that really? was the original UN proposal. Well, that right? wouldn't have worked so well because you got all the all the Germans after World War II went to. Uh, well, that uh, might have made the move out. Yeah. That's where Hitler went, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the rest I of didn't them. I realize that, Jack. Thank you. I'm gonna look that up. Yeah, I, I, well, you know, Israel was the problem with Israel is that the notion of Israel becoming the Jewish homeland was started by a bunch of British goyim, yeah, uh, who uh, didn't uh, want the Jews in Britain. Uh, 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 Balfour, <laughs> as a matter of fact, uh, who was uh, not Jewish, uh, who made the Balfour Declaration that basically said that the Jewish uh, that Israel should become the Jewish homeland. Prior to that, the Palestinians had a wonderful relationship with the Jews in the area. In fact, the Jews didn't even call themselves Jews. They called themselves something else. 
I can't remember exactly. And they got along great. They got along fine until Balfour came along and he started bringing people down and holding rallies and getting contentious. And that, that goes back to the 20s. Okay, so uh, uh, Israel becoming Israel is a result of everything that Balfour had done before. Am I wrong about this, Jeff? Do you know? Are you familiar? No, you're with pretty it? good on that. Yeah. Um, the reality is that's what happened. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> there's nothing you can do about it now. <clears throat> right. Why can't we get rid of the Balfour Agreement? Well, no, uh, the, the, the de declaration well, that's, uh, that's that's been off the table for years. The point is, Israel's been there since what '48. Right. Uh, it's not going anywhere, just like Trump isn't going anywhere. And uh, you've got to you've got to live with it. But to find a solution to it, this is a hard, this is, you know, to begin with, you got to remember that Islam and Judaism are almost practically the same religion. You As know? a matter of fact, uh, Muhammad said uh when he uh started writing um the surahs in the uh, in the yeah. in the uh, uh what the do you quran. call it quran yeah, the quran yeah he said he wrote it because the jews had the book or a book and he wanted what was basically uh, uh that other part of the world that uh, that he considered to be heathens to have a book well, also, you got to realize that Islam believes in the one God. It's mm -hmm. the same God, by the way, that everybody else believes in. You know, there's it's a, the there's one God. There's a reason God. why they don't like the Jews. There was something, uh, something uh, that either they did something that uh, was the sheep or uh, some some sort of... Uh, well, when uh, you finally come up with it, let us know, Phil. Maybe they pray to an idol or something. No, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, the the what happened uh, basically is that you know I mean you look at Islam and they don't eat pork you know they all the, all the things are very similar we are ba basically the same religion <coughs> with a different uh, book that we read okay uh, but it's still we believe in one God as a matter of fact if you want to live in Iran Phil as a Jew as long as you believe in one God you can pray to that. There's about five Jews in Iran. There's well, not even, uh, it, 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 a Jews in Iran is like you know if you want to go there, then sense. it's like a Jew going to a pork dinner. Uh, Brian, yeah, I think it's all bullshit. And furthermore, um, technically speaking, from a scientific angle, um, as far as we know so far, all of our homeland is in Africa, isn't it? Well, that's I mean, where, that's this whole notion of homeland here. We, there's no homeland. Yeah. We just the, the, evolved. We went to. We, we spread out all over the world and conquered shit. And yeah, just and made these tales to tell ourselves to make ourselves. Well, I, I, more I, I read it. We I, actually are. In terms I watched of, a you know, series on the BBC, in which it was a whole history of 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 mankind and how they how it started right there in that one place in Africa. They know exactly where it started. Been and, there. And, and 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 where where is it exactly, Renee? It's a hole in the ground in South Africa. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, and they and they stand you above the hole and say, "Look, that's where so and so fell in the hole, and that's exactly where we found all of this information, and that's how we track everybody back." And, and the whole series was about how they started spreading out across the wor the world. Like one of the things I didn't know. Did you know that? Uh, that modern man and the Neanderthal both lived at the same time. Oh, yeah, I knew that. Yeah, I heard that. And, and they, not they, only they lived, hated each other. huh? Not only did they live, but I think they did a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did. Yeah, but, but, you, but, but you know maybe. what? Do you know why the Neanderthal didn't survive? Mm -hmm. what, what's the answer? Do you know, Renee? Cro Magnon was uh, superior in Cro combat. No, it wasn't that he was superior. I thought we had a better thumb structure. No. Oh. Here what? it is. Simple. They were Republicans. No. <laughs> they had just gonna say that. They were social. Yeah, yeah. And the Neanderthals weren't. And that's what killed off the Neanderthals. It just pushed them to the ocean and they disappeared. Now, I have a I have a hypothesis. So the, Neanderthals, the Neanderthals also required a greater intake of calories per day. Oh really? Yeah. But, but, so you know the 
uh, Neanderthal, Neanderthals took in a tremendous amount of calories because mm -hmm. they were a bigger, burlier people. And I believe they both lived in Africa, not Africa, but in, um, in um, uh, it, it, what's Italy now. If, but, I'm, uh, if I remember they're correctly. They're still laughing at us. But the fact I'm, is that they, they finally got pushed to the sea. And once they got to the, the sea's edge, they started to disappear and Cro-Magnon took over. I just wanted to the Jews. everybody to join us for the intersection in just about mm, six minutes. Okay. This you got to go? I got to go. Goodbye. Good night. Later, Gator. Okay. What were you going to say, Brian? I was just going to say I can't. it can't be proven. It's just a, a postulation I had in my head for a number of months now. But uh, we allegedly we've traced a point of origin for mankind's uh, beginning in, in, in South Africa. But... Um, you know, it was what before Neanderthal. It was Homo erectus, and you go further back. I'm I'm not inclined to dis I'm not inclined to discount the notion that uh, people or uh, ancestral man evolved at different locations around the planet to uh, Cro Magnon and say South Africa or uh, no, but we Brazil accor or according Germany according or, according to this documentary, okay. We, um, uh, we, from Africa, we spread out across the world. And it talked about how uh, we went to, uh, to, to Russia, but then Russia went down into China and became more uh, Mongolian. Right. Uh, because if you look at Russians near that border, they look Asian. And then there's geographic determinism. There's that component to factor into the equation. People who are generations born and living in, you know, sunnier areas. Well, survival. Of people in See, there's a tribe. There's a tribe of uh, Jews living in Ethiopia mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, practice Judaism, and they, they they call it the I guess the lost tribe. But uh, you know, here you you know you have Judaism that uh, may have started in, in Ethiopia who, you know who knows how uh, you know how how it moved well, from there <laughs> and there's that Judaism Christianity Islam etc cetera, etc cetera. these are all things we've uh, learned we've invented there was and, there was also a thing that there's a term that's been used over the years and and I, I prescribe to it and that is the geography is destiny I that, that yeah. yeah, that these people, the way they turned out, you know, how they lived, and the patterns in which they lived, and so on, were all based upon the geography and the needs yeah. of meeting that the needs called, of the geography. Is if that also Jews called geographic left. determinism? Yeah, I if think so. If Jews turned yeah. left instead of right, they would have gotten the oil. Mm. <laughs> location, 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 location. Yes, right, right. But uh, <laughs> yeah, but it, it it's uh, it's amazing. It's the book amazing. Guns, Germans, and Guns, Germs, and Steel, I think, uh, touched on this. Well, you know, why were the Germans always causing wars? That's what I want to know. It was probably why are white people more inclined to, especially white men, and uh, credit to and credit to uh, Rene. Why why is it they're more inclined to, uh, you know, get all up in arms and start? The Germans, shipping? the Germans like to march a lot. And uh, you my, know, well, my father once said, "Don't ever let the Germanies get back together again." He said that 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 you know that eventually they'll all get in a line and start marching. Well, they have, and under Merkel, they seem to have surpassed that of the United States, at least as far as intelligence is concerned, especially in regards to Trump and his administration. Well, Trump yeah. and a lot of other people think uh, that Merkel is on the wrong uh, track. Jeff, <laughs> did, did uh, any of my Jewish friends there ever have a German car? Yes, yeah. I had a Volkswagen. Sure. Almost. Yeah. 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 I had a Volkswagen and a Mercedes. Uh, hey, if you bus. You're a regular <laughs> Nazi. And in, no, and, and the Volkswagen is a descendant of Adolf Hitler because he, in fact, had it invented for the Third Reich as a cheap car, mm -hmm. as the people's car. Yeah. I agree. Mm -hmm. The people's car. The it, people's it, car. That's what it means. That's what Volkswagen, Volkswagen means. Uh, mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. Yes, uh, John. Yes, John. You remember, this is going, we'll finish up on a midnight blue moment here, when one of Al Goldstein's screw yous was to Porsche because because he had a Porsche or a Porsche and it didn't get fixed and he was going about, you know, you know, <laughs> because it was those Germans, they tried, it's like, 
really, Al? <laughs> <You know? laughs> I don't think the Porsche died because you're Jewish. I mean, it's, <laughs> I got a Japanese car. But that's Al. And, 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 <laughs> that and, Al. You know, they were involved in the Bataan Death March. So, you know, it's like <laughs> enough years have gone by and enough generations have gone by that there's no reason to dislike uh, someone because of the uh, the past uh, people that uh, were, you know, were there. Hence, like what the, the sports writer in Denver who thought that the Japanese guy winning the uh, Indy 500 was awful on, <laughs> on Memorial Day. <laughs> it's like Memorial, Memorial Day isn't just World War II, idiot. <laughs> that was, I mean, they kicked him out. Good. You know, it was stupid of him. Really? Well, I can't even gather. It was not, I don't think he was joking. I think he really thought this was awful. Yeah. That some it wasn't joking. Yeah. Ah. I heard about that. Well, yeah. listen, oh, yeah. I got to get out of here. Uh, for some reason, my theme song wasn't playing. So uh, uh, I, we got we got to go, everybody. Wave goodbye. Hey. Yeah, we'll do this all again tomorrow night. How's that? Good idea? Well, depends on how drunk I get. It's my birthday tomorrow. Oh, happy hey. birthday, hey. John. So, uh, uh, so I'll get a lot of free drinks at the local bar. Bye-bye, everybody. Back here, and I'll be like, ah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Take care. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody. Bye. I'm Alex Bennett, and that's it for the uh, for the ramble. Stay tuned now for the intersection with uh, Jack and Amy. They'll be followed by connections at one o'clock this morning. In the meantime, I'm Alex Bennett, and as always, see you tomorrow, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay. A little more music. Go. There we go. Okay, see you, see you later, everybody.